part two of my quick tips about hand feeding safely and in a low stress way to your horses today. So my first tip is going to be always use your bridge signal before you feed your horses, their food rewards or their primary reinforcer, whether that's scratches or something like that. So if you're giving your horse a food reward, it's critical that you give your horse the bridge signal. Uh, that can be a click or a verbal sound or whatever it is you'd like it to be. Uh, give them their bridge signal and then go to reach for your food and present them with their food reward. And the reason we want to do this is because we want the horse to know that it doesn't, you know, everything can be going on. We can even have food on us. It doesn't matter unless this signal is presented, unless we make the sound. Food is not available to the horse at that moment off of our personal body. So this really helps reduce food frustration and any types of mugging behavior and um, seeking food on your body. It really, really helps. So I really encourage, and I've said really way too many times, but I really, 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 really encourage always using your bridge signal before you present a food reward. My next tip is going to be when you feed your horse a food reward. Make sure and feed them directly in front of their body. So we want the head, chest, shoulder, and hind end to all be lined up square. And you present the food directly in front of their body so that it all stays lined up. And the reason for this is it really helps develop good posture. It can start the beginning process of teaching your horse to square up when they're halted or standing still. And it also helps reduce that head swinging towards you um, moving towards you into your body to get the food reward. If the food reward is always brought to them when they're standing square and nice and completely lined up, they won't even feel the need to come towards you. They will know that food only happens out here, away from my body, when they're lined up square like this. The next tip I have for you is to feed that food reward at chest level or lower. And the reason for this is it helps the horse remain in a calm state of mind. It also helps with that posture again. And it's just a consistent form of feeding that food reward. We wanna be really consistent. We want our bridge signal and we wanna feed them in a certain spot, which also goes along with the tip of, like I mentioned before, feeding them away from your body. So feed them out to the side, almost a full arm's length, lined up at mid chest level or lower. Another tip I have for you is no food in the hands unless you have done your bridge signal. The reason for this is because we don't want them seeking food on our hands and on our body unless they've heard that signal. So it goes right along with everything else. There's no food. No food is available. No food is anywhere. It's just in this pouch, which you're not allowed to touch. Food is nowhere unless you've heard your signal and then food is brought to you. So it's not over here. It's not in my hands. It's over here in front of you when it's the right time. A final tip I have for you is a way to feed your horses their food reward that reduces uh, 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 being overly mouthy with the food, <laughs> so on your hand. So when I feed my horses the food reward, I present it in a cupped way, so my hand is cupped like this and my fingers are held tightly together. And the reason for this is it kind of cups the food right here in the middle of my hand, and when the horse goes to get the food, it is less prone to having to open up its whole mouth to get all of the food in one bite because it's nicely scooped up in here so it's very easy for them just to get their food. Otherwise, the food tends to just kind of go everywhere and drops all over the floor, floor, which can be distracting during your training session if they're looking for food that has been dropped on the floor. And then also it can encourage big open mouthy grabbing at your hand if your hand is flat like this. They have a harder time grabbing at, your, grabbing at the food like with big open mouth, if it's cupped like this, they actually can't get the food. They can only get it if they do little tiny uh, mouth movements. So I find that that really, really helps the horses that are overly open mouthed with getting their food rewards. All right, hopefully this was helpful for you guys and I look forward to sharing more tips with you in the future.